We've been closely following gas prices, and this morning there's a little bit of relief. AAA's map of trends shows the national average for a gallon of gas is 486. On average, it's about 458 in both Kansas and Missouri. It's the highest in states like California, where the average sits at 603 a gallon. With the prices so high, the American Cancer Society is raising money to help fund transportation for cancer patients. They help people by giving away gas cards, cab passes, other non-emergency transportation, but that funding getting eaten up by the prices at the pump. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon spoke with two patients receiving care from the University of Kansas Health System and how the rising gas prices is impacting them. Chuck Miller spends $130 a week driving from Adrian, Missouri to the University of Kansas Cancer Center in the metro, getting vital radiation he needs to beat cancer, sometimes having to make the same trip back five times a week. Driving the best vehicle I have for gas mileage, which is about 20 miles a gallon, 21. And, uh, it, it eats you alive. And he's not alone. Vince Iward lives in Pittsburgh, Kansas. He was diagnosed with lymphoma and is undergoing a bone marrow transplant, but getting the care he needs has cost him. I was surprised to look at my chart the other day and realize that I'd made over 75 trips and it runs about $60 round trip just in fuel, not much less wear and tear on the car. Helping both of these men, gas cards provided by the American Cancer Society. In April, the University of Kansas Health System received a $25,000 grant from the ACS to help cancer patients with transportation cost, a grant that's supposed to last them for an entire year. The rate we're going, we've almost spent half of that already since April, so it won't last an entire year. University Health System says it's important for cancer patients to follow treatment to a T. They try to schedule as many appointments as they can within a day, but that's not always feasible. The price rises, our our money doesn't go as far, and so we're not able to help as many patients. So it, it's really disheartening to know that that's coming down the pike. Both men say these gas cards are helping them stay afloat, but with prices at the pump staying high, they are already thinking about how it'll impact their lifestyle. I mean, I would still get there, but it's just, it's tougher. I mean, with gas prices and economy and groceries and all that going up, it's getting tougher for everybody. Soon hoping to be fully retired. Uh, Social Security only stretches so far, and then you're on a budget. You can't pay that gas off each month. Daniela Leone, KSHB 41 News. Money is allocated depending on where a patient lives, the cost of what type of transportation they need to. ACS helped the University Health System in calculating mileage to and from the hospital and changed calculation this year to try to account for that increase in gas prices. If you want to help, you can send a monetary donation to the address on your screen there. You see the P.O. box number. The university also plans to use a variety of other oncology-specific grant funding to help cancer patients. Mm.